Hey, Sydney Dorman. And she's Alex Bland. And today is Friday, December 9th, 2011. We are here at the beautiful Munn Park in downtown Lakeland. They always do such an amazing job with the area with festive lights that lead all the way down to Lake Mere. If you haven't come out with your friends yet and taken a look, make sure you catch time over break to do so. On today's show, we have a look at ice skating and something you all can do for your community over the break. But first, let's take a look back at this day in history. On this day in history, December 9th, in 1950, Harry Gold was sent to prison for his role in atomic espionage. In 1983, Al Pacino starred as a Cuban refugee who became a Miami crime boss in Scarface. In 1992, the separation of Prince Charles and Princess Diana was announced. I'm Kristen Gonzalez reporting for ENN. If you are interested in registering for the January 28th SAT, you can go online to collegeboard.com before December 30th and apply. The registration fee will be $49. Also, the ACT will be held here at GJ on February 11th. Make sure you go online to actstudent.org and apply before January 13th. There will be no registration fee, and if you have any questions, you can call 310-337-1270. There will also be another testing on March 10th, so make sure you're planning ahead. With so little to do in Lakeland, or as we all say, we caught up with Victoria Valanti to find out what we could do over break. For us, it might be a little bit hard to get to that winter holiday mood living in Florida, but right here at the Lakeland Civic Center, you can go ice skating. Starting December 13th to the 16th, you can go from 7 to 10 p.m. And December 17th to the 19th, you can go 6 to 8 p.m. Tickets start at $5 with your own skates, $6 for children 12 and under, and $7 for adults. I hope to see you at the rink this holiday break. I'm Victoria Valanti reporting for ENN. Thanks, Victoria. Make sure y'all come out to the Lakeland Center to get your skate on. Get your ticket for the annual Magical Dinner from any chorus member, musical theater member, or Seema Snow in the chorus room. Tickets are $20 and the shows are tonight and tomorrow night, so get your ticket today. Student Council is selling silicone wristbands for $1. See any student council member or visit room 19127 to get your wristband. You know, with so much going on during the holiday season, I really wish I could be a part of helping someone. Well, actually, our Key Club members help out by doing service projects. Maybe you should join them. Well, what exactly do they do? Well, here's e and reporters Rachel and Rebecca Castor with a look on what our Key Club members do on Saturdays. The GJHS Key Club is helping our community out in many ways. So far this year, they participated in a canned food drive, collected foods for Thanksgiving baskets, participated in Campfire USA's Haunted House, and volunteered at Valley View Elementary School. Sounds like Key Club's off to a great start. But what are they doing out here today? Today, members of Key Club are out on Highway 540A cleaning up trash. That's great, because not only are students helping out our community, they're helping our environment as well. I feel it's important that we do, Key Club does a service project like these to uh, better help the community. Um, like picking up trash that we did this morning, it uh, helps the students get out and see that there are things that need to be done in the community that other people can't get out and do. It also shows the people in the community that we are striving to make it better. Bright and early Saturday morning, members of the Key Club met at Brewster's right next to the highway. Then they split up into teams and grabbed a trash bag and a bright orange vest and started working. Cleaning up the highway is going really good this morning. This service project is a great way for me to earn service hours while hanging out with my friends and helping the environment. Service organizations like George Jenkins Key Club help students reach out to their community while earning service hours at the same time. Maybe you should think about joining Key Club next year. Reporting for ENN, I'm Rachel Castor. And I'm Rebecca Castor. Come on, Rachel, let's go get to work. Thanks, Rachel and Rebecca. And anybody interested in getting service hours, make sure you check out the Key Club. Great news from the Green and Gold branch. Existing or new members, if you apply for direct deposit or a statement, you will be put in the drawing to win a free ice cream party from Brewster's for you and five of your friends. Make sure you stop by on your way to lunch to check it out. For all you sweethearts out there, there's a new store downtown and Crimson Johnson has more information on it. Candy canes are a classic tradition for the holidays. And so are gumdrops and chocolate and gingerbread. Okay, so there's a lot of things. 
But if you're looking for all of those things, and maybe even some more, Got Candy is a great place to go. This new candy store opened up at the beginning of this year and has been putting smiles in customers' faces ever since. Um, I love entrepreneurship and I was looking for a way to um, have a business and be able to offer services in the community and I thought a lollipop store would be nice because I was reading some statistics that said in a slow economy candy is a luxury but people will still purchase it for the fact that it also can be a comfort food. Despite the hurting economy, Mrs. Williams pursued her dreams of opening her own candy store. I started experimenting with the chocolate and playing with the chocolate, trying to find brands of chocolate, and I did it for probably a year. I had lots of taste testers, and um, a lot of them were very encouraging, I and then I finally the decided to take the, the plunge. Okay, so basically for my school we have to do an internship, so I decided to intern here just because I like the environment and everything. And they just liked me so much that they decided to keep me. So I work here now part-time and just help out and everything. So this season, if you're looking for a great stocking stuffer or just a small treat for your friend, make sure you stop by Got Candy. I'm Crimson Johnson reporting for ENN. Stay sweet. Thanks, Crimson. I definitely know where I'm going after school. Alex, why are you so exuberant about candy? Exuberant? Yeah, you know, how each week on ENN we have a word to improve our vocabulary, so we use less vernacular. Oh, that's right! Oh, well, okay. this week's word will be exuberance, which means joyful enthusiasm. So make sure you guys stay tuned for a short video to help you remember the word. December's key to character is kindness. To be kind is to be helpful, thankful, considerate, compassionate, and caring. To be kind would be to share the candy that I got from Got Candy, which um, probably isn't going to happen. Do you think you could at least be kind enough to share this month's focus skills? Well, what are the focus skills? Well, the reading focus skill would be inferencing and predictions, while the writing focus skill is spelling. And while we're at it, speaking about spelling, why don't you try to spell this week's word, Alex? Sure. Exuberance, right? Yeah, that's the okay. word. Okay. Exuberance. Okay. Eggs. E G G S. All right, now, just now, I'll save you. Stop. It's okay. I'm going to hope that you know our lunch a little bit better than you do your spelling. Well, actually, I do. Oh, good. <laughs> Today's lunch is ultimate flatbread pizza, corn, garden salad, and a whole fruit juice. Okay, well, I think that's all we have for you today, then. We'll see y'all here bright and early on Monday to bring you the latest news on GJHS. Have, have a fantastic, fantastic Friday, Friday, Eagles. <laughs> Alex, seriously, eggs? E-G-X, what, like, what? Exuberant. Seriously, Alex? Yeah. Chocolate.